Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the Blog Feed Masonry Module. So the Blog Feed Masonry Module is part of Extra's Category Builder. The Category Builder uses a unique set of builder modules to create blog post layouts. So to get to the Category Builder, navigate in your WordPress admin to Extra Category Builder. To use the Blog Feed Masonry Module, we'll need to create a new layout or open an existing one. So for this uh, video, I'm just simply going to open up one that I've already created. As you can see, the layout is really simple. It's just one section, one row, and one module, and that module is the Blog Feed Masonry Module. Uh, so what I've done here is literally just assigned one category to my Blog Feed Masonry, and I'll show it to you on the front end real quick, and then we'll jump back to the back end here and I'll show you, I'll walk you through all the settings. So um, just really quickly though, under general settings, if I select interviews or just whatever single category I wanted to, uh, I set the post limit, I click save and exit. Um, then I come over here into the categories meta box and I select the category interviews and I publish, or in this case update. You can see on the front end that I've got um, a masonry blog that is just my interviews category. So this is a really great way uh, to get a blog feed in the masonry style um, and you can set it up by single category or if you want you can also set up multiple categories. So over here I might say um, I want to do three categories that appear as this blog feed masonry. The only difference I would need to make in my current settings is instead of choosing just this one uh, category here, I would choose current category. And the current category is a great setting for um, both your default uh, layout and any layout that you want to assign to more than one category. So uh, what it does is it means that on the front end, when a reader clicks on, uh, on a category on the front end, whatever category they've clicked on, um, this layout will only display that category. It won't display every possible category. Okay, so now let's get into uh, the actual settings of the blog feed masonry module. So just as with all of the other uh, modules, there's three settings tabs up here at the top. So there's general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. So as you can see, the very first thing under general settings is categories. And I kind of explain what you can do here. You can use all for all categories, current for just the category that someone clicks on that this is assigned to. Um, or you can select just the category that you want and pair that with a category over here in your meta, um, your meta box on the category layout page, editor page. But there's actually quite a bit more to this module. So let's scroll down through the general settings and then we'll take the other two tabs along as well. So uh, I can also limit my, uh, set my number for posts per page. So it's at 16 right now. I could set it to five. I could set it to 510 or 10. And I can choose to show pagination, show author, show categories, uh, show featured image, uh, read more button. I, all these things can be turned on or off date. I can choose to display only featured posts and depending on what I've selected up here, like if I've selected one or two categories here and I choose to select a uh, featured post, it'll only show featured posts for that category, for the category that I've selected. So in this case, I have current category selected and if I select featured posts here, it'll only ever show the featured posts in the category that is being viewed at that time. Moving on down, I can show comments or not. I can choose to show ratings or not. I can choose to show uh, just the excerpt of the post or the full content. I can change the date format, change the heading style. We can sort uh, the method, uh, sorry, we can change the sorting method from most recent to most popular or highest rated. We can also change the sorting order from descending to ascending. And uh, as is pretty usual for any Divi Builder elements or Divi Builder modules, we can change the admin label, we can add a CSS ID or a CSS class. So the CSS ID and class are great for um, being able to edit this module or add custom CSS to this module via the ePanels um, custom CSS section 
or your child themes CSS style sheet. All right, let's jump over to advanced design settings. So this tab is going to give you a lot of things that you can do to make the blog feed masonry module your own um, and match it to the rest of your blog. So you can change the post background color. You can change the max width of the whole module. So instead of it going across the entire content section that, that it's in and in whatever row it's in, um, you can limit that to any number of pixels that you want. You can change the title font. Uh, you can change the uh, title font size, text color, letter spacing, and line height. And those same typographic settings apply to the meta font and the body font. You can also choose to use a border around your uh, masonry blog posts, and you can choose to adjust the custom margin or padding using these uh, text boxes here. So one other thing that you can do is you can choose to um, add some custom styling to your read more buttons. And if you turn this on, there's actually a ton of things that you can do to your read more button. Uh, you can adjust the text size, uh, text color, background color, border width, border color, uh, border radius, letter spacing, uh, read more button font, uh, read more button icon. You can change the icon. You can change the icon color. You can change the icon placement. Uh, you can change uh, you can choose to only show icon on hover for the read more button. You can choose uh, hover text color, hover background color, hover border color. You can change to um, hover the ch you can change the hover border radius. You can change the hover letter spacing, the hover overlay color, hover overlay icon color, and the hover overlay icon picker. Um, so there's just quite a bit that opens up just from that one, uh, decision to, uh, customize your read more buttons. And there's tons of options there, uh, but I'll close that for now. So we can also change, let's see here. We can decide to remove our drop shadow. We can add or adjust our border radius. We can change the pagination color, pagination background, the pagination active color and the pagination active background color. <laughs> quite a mouthful here after a little while. Uh, so as you can see, there's just so much that you can do here if you um, would like to customize the bl uh, blog feed masonry module uh, without getting into CSS. But if you do want to get into some CSS, we have a tab for that as well, the custom CSS tab. And just like the advanced design settings, the custom CSS tab goes just above and beyond in terms of what you're able to pinpoint in on and affect with your CSS styling. So in addition to what has become sort of our, our norm in this tab with before, main element, and after, you can also uh, uh, add stylings to your post entry, post title, post meta, post meta and icons, which is your rating and comments, your post excerpt, uh, post read more, post read more icon, post featured image, your post overlay, post overlay icon, post review score, uh, post format gallery navigation, post uh, format gallery navigation icon. Um, and it just goes on and on really anything uh, that you would want to add a uh, custom CSS to, you're going to see um, a spot here for it on the blog feed masonry module settings. When you are done uh, with your custom CSS, your advanced designs and general settings, just go ahead and click save and exit and I'm going to choose to just have it for just interviews here so I'm update this and I can take a look at what I've got on the front end and just as before I've got a nice masonry category here masonry blog style category and I can choose to have it for just this category or I can apl quickly apply it to multiple categories. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the blog feed masonry module. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure you get a response. If you're interested in learning more about Extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click on the view demo button. If on the other hand, you're interested in seeing more Extra tutorials, be sure to click the subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.